Conquering colons. Avoid the trap of overuse. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to focus on a significant yet tricky punctuation mark, the colon. More specifically, we're going to address one of the most common mistakes people make with colons, which is overusing them. Before we dive into the pitfalls of overusing colons, let's first refresh our understanding of them. A colon is primarily used in two situations. 1. To introduce a list, explanation, or elaboration. 2. Example. I need three things from the grocery store. Eggs, bread, and milk. 3. Before a quote or a direct speech. 4. Example. The teacher always said, reading is the key to knowledge. So, when does using colons become overuse? Overuse happens when we start to use colons in places where they're not needed or where other punctuation marks would do a better job. Let's look at some common ways people overuse colons. 1. Using a colon after, such as, or, including. 2. Incorrect. We love fruits, such as apples, bananas, and cherries. 3. Correct. We love fruits, such as apples, bananas, and cherries. 4. Using a colon before a list when the sentence is already complete. 5. Incorrect. My favorite sports are soccer, basketball, and tennis. 6. Correct. My favorite sports are soccer, basketball, and tennis. 7. Using a colon between two sentences that are not directly related. 8. Incorrect. It's a sunny day. I forgot my sunglasses. 9. Correct. It's a sunny day. I forgot my sunglasses. The key is to remember that colons are not interchangeable with other punctuation marks. They have their specific roles, and using them carelessly can make your writing confusing. To avoid falling into the trap of overusing colons, here are some helpful tips. 1. Read and revise. Always take a moment to read over what you have written. Does the colon introduce a list or quote? Does the sentence make sense without the colon? 2. Use variety. Try to use different punctuation marks and sentence structures. This will not only help you avoid overusing colons but also make your writing more dynamic. 3. Understand its role. Remember, a colon's main role is to introduce something or indicate a pause before presenting related information. If it's not serving that purpose, you might not need it. That's all for today, folks. Remember, while the colon is a powerful punctuation mark, it's essential to avoid overusing it. Understanding its proper use and reviewing your work can make a huge difference in your writing. Keep practicing, and soon, mastering the use of colons will be second nature to you. Happy learning, and see you in our next lesson.